Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new linked list tutorial. Let's begin. Before we start, let's go over the basic timeline of this video. So the timeline is split up into four parts. What are linked lists? The implementation, reversing, as well as searching. All code will be written in pseudocode, and you can then implement that in your language of choice. Let's go ahead and define what a linked list is. A linked list is simply just an abstract data structure. An abstract data structure simply means that it's built on top of regular data structures in the form of a class or a structure, and it uses basic data structures like an integer and pointers to make it work. And like other data structures, it's used to store data, for example, an integer. But how do linked lists exactly work? So the way a linked list works, as you can see over here, is that there's a specific node. A linked list is made up of a bunch of nodes. Each node contains an integer value or a string, but usually an integer, as well as a pointer to another memory address. As you can see over here, there's a memory address for this specific node, and it points to another node. This node will follow the exact same architecture. However, in the scenario of which there is no next node, it's going to remain as null. And if there is a node that is isn't that is at the top, we call that the head node. And if there is a node where the next pointer is null, also known as the end of the node, is called the tail of our node. In order to implement your own linked list in your language, make a class or a struct and simply have the two parameters of an integer as well as a next node, which is simply just going to be the same uh, data type as the struct or the class. And boom, we've now created our very own linked list. Now it's time for the million dollar question. How do you reverse a linked list? For this question, let's go ahead and assume we have a linked list with one pointing to two, two to three, and then three to null. How can we go ahead and reverse this in the other way? The three things that we're gonna wanna do first is make three nodes. We're gonna make a node for current node, the previous node, and the next node. Now initially these values for the previous and next node will be null. So the first thing you will do is go ahead and take our current node and point it to the next node. After that, what you're gonna do is take your next node and point it to the previous node. By doing so, we point our second node to our first node. After that, point the previous node to the current value of the node. By doing so, we've now reversed it so that point node two points to node one. By repeating this process over and over again, throughout the entire list, we can reverse the entire linked list completely. Now let's go ahead and view a pseudocode example of what I'm trying to explain. The first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and create three variables. Current node, which will initially point to our head node, the previous node, which is for now null, and the next node, which is also null. The next thing we're going to do is create a while loop in which the current value of the node cannot be null. In the case that it's null, that means we've reached the end of our list. Next, we point our next node to our current node's next value. Next, we point our current node's next value to the previous node, reversing that portion of the linked list. Then we point our previous node to our current node and our current node to the next node. And boom, after doing this over and over again, you will be reversing the entire linked list. If you want to view the head node, the new head node will be your previous node. And the time complexity of this is simply just O of n, as it uses up the entire size of your linked list. Now, how can we go ahead and search a value within a linked list? Considering we've already learned how to reverse it, this shouldn't be too hard. So let's suppose we take our previous linked list and suppose we need to figure out the value of two. We're simply just gonna go ahead and take our current node and see if that's the value of two. If it's not, we'll set it to the next node. And we're also gonna make sure that the value of the current node isn't null. And if it is null, that means that the value simply just does not exist. So the time complexity overall is just gonna be O of n, where n is the number of nodes. This is because in the worst case scenario, you're going to have to look through every single node. Now let's go ahead and see a coding implementation of what I'm talking about. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a current node, which will be equal to the head of the linked list, as well as a number to search for. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a while loop that checks to see if the current node is null. If it's not null, then check to see if that number is equal to the number we want to search for. And if it's not, then go ahead and just increment that current node. And boom, that's how you search within a linked list. This concludes our video regarding linked lists. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below.